Welcome to Ben and my physics presentation video on the twins paradox. Um, in this video, we're going to have two tw identical twins on Earth, um, twin A and twin B. Twin A is Milo and twin B is Ben. So, the twins paradox is an interesting concept. There are two twins, identical, same age. One twin, however, Milo, aspires to be an astronaut. So, he takes off for an interesting life exploring the cosmos while I stay on Earth. After travelling for five years through the universe at close to the speed of light, I realised how much I miss my brother there. So, I decided to turn around and take the five year journey back to Earth to hopefully celebrate my 28th birthday with him. However, when I disembark off my rocket ship on Earth, I realised that Ben is no longer the same age as me. What? I returned to find him an old man. How did this happen? Well, to answer that question, we have to go back a few stages. Okay. This is ground control to Major Tom. You really made the grave. The reason for Ben becoming so old while I remain young is due to time dilation. In order for us to see this, we have to go right back to the beginning when I left Earth. Time dilation is best explained using light clocks. In this example, we place the light clock in the spaceship with the twin. In a light clock, light is emitted upwards from the bottom wall travels upwards and hits the top wall where it is then reflected back to the bottom wall and triggers the click of the clock. Here the twin sees the light travel up and then down. Using the equation time equals distance over speed we can work out the time that this took. Right, so how do light clocks explain time dilation? Well, we need to consider that the light clock is placed relative to the twin inside the spaceship. He would still see the same as what he saw previously. However, to the twin on the Earth, the light would be emitted from the bottom wall. It would then travel up to the top wall and the spaceship in the second position and then be reflected back. And when the spaceship is in the third position, that's when the click of the counter would go off. So, in actual fact, the twin on the Earth would see the light travel in this direction. If we use the same equation, time equals distance over speed, we can see that the time is actually faster. So now we know how the light gate works slightly, we're going to pretend that Milo is the twin on the spaceship. So, what would Milo see from his point of view looking at the light clock? Well, we're about to show you. One way to do that is using... A ball. And... A tandem.
So, what we are going to show here is that from Milo's perspective, the ball travels up half a meter, then back down half a meter. We're going to assume that the ball travels at a constant speed of one meter per second. You can see that the overall distance traveled is one meter at one meter per second. Therefore, if we use the equation speed equals distance over time, time equals distance over speed, we can see that the time for Milo's perspective takes one second for the ball to go up and back down. However, this is not the same for the observer, as you may think. From the observer's point of view, the ball travels along as our spaceship, or the tandem, travels along in the horizontal motion. You can see that the path of the ball is actually slightly longer than from Milo's point of view, at 0.75 meter up and then back down. Therefore, the overall distance is 1.5 meters. We're going to assume that the speed of the ball is still constant at 1 meter per second. Therefore, using the same equation, time equals distance over speed, we can see that the time taken for the observer is actually 1.5 seconds. Therefore, time is actually passing slightly quicker for them. On our model of the spaceship, the twin on Earth actually experiences a lot more time dilation than in our example using the tandem. This is the reason that why when the twin from space returns to Earth, his brother is a lot older.